Happy Friday. Hopefully everybody had a fantastic week this week. Hey, you know what? The 2020 KTM 390 Adventure. Yep, coming to the United States. It's going to happen. It's 100%. I'm getting really excited. And you know what? It uh, has a lot in common with this helmet. And you know what? We're going to talk about it next. What is happening? What's going on? Happy Friday. Hopefully it was a good week. Things are slowly getting a little bit back to normal uh, here in Texas. Uh, restaurants are kind of back opened up and uh, at least at 25% capacity, which is kind of cool. So they're going to basically dictate how many people come in there. But hey, we're getting closer, man. And uh, pretty good week this week. It was nice. It was sunny. Uh, temperature's fantastic. And I'm going to enjoy it. So all you at gat guys, guess what? I ain't wearing a jacket, and I don't care. Anyway, thank you so much to everybody. Thank you to all my Patreon sponsors. Everybody's out there, all the new Patreon sponsors. Thank you so much. I cannot tell you how it helps me out uh, on a lot of things that I do. Don't forget about our podcast. We are back. We're live. We are on it. Don't forget Radio 690 ADV. You can find us on all platforms podcast you can find us on apple uh you pick it man it doesn't matter we're on there just research radio 690 adv now don't forget hit that subscribe give us a thumbs up and don't forget to go to our website and sign up need you to be part of that 690 adv anyway the ktm 390 adventure onto the podcast or i mean the 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 video tonight is uh, I'm excited because uh, we got uh, I got some new stuff. I'm gonna talk about it on Sunday, but we have a new studio with the KTM 390 Adventure and the U.S. Edition. I don't care about no European stuff, man. I care about the U.S. I'm excited, man. It's coming. It's a hundred percent. It's coming. We knew it was pretty much coming. It was on the board for what six, seven years. Craziness, man. Craziness. And the times that we live in and the things that we uh, we want and what we get. But anyway, that KTM 390 Adventure, at least the U.S., what are some of the things that we're going to get? And are they going to be, you know, different than what they get in Europe? I, I mean, I, you know, you'll have to go do your own research. You know I tell you that all the time. Research is king and do your own research. But, you know, here in the United States, it's coming. It's not too far away. And I'm getting pretty excited, man. I'm pretty excited about that 390 Adventure. The more I dig into it, the more information that I am getting, um, I'm getting kind of a little giddy. I want that 490, make no mistake. But that 390 Adventure from KTM is going to be a 373cc engine. All right? It's going to share the same platform as the KTM 390 Duke, and uh, which is a very, if you've never ridden a 390 Duke, uh, a buddy of mine in Florida, uh, Kelly, if you ever watch my stuff, which you probably don't, super, super smooth engine, really nice, fuel injected, uh, and really, I mean, it just, it, it, I don't know, it's nice. I always said when I wrote it that if they could take this motor and turn it into some kind of a dual sport bike, I think it would really be pretty fantastic. So, guess what? They did. 390 Adventure. Welcome to it. So, anyway... It's got 43 horsepower, which is really, I mean, think about it. For that bike, that's going to be really good, especially it's not going to be, you know, too overpowered for, uh, for, for new riders. And I think that's really what KTM's aiming for. I mean, you guys out there that are seasoned riders, I mean, what do you think down below in the comments? I think this is a new rider's dream adventure bike. I really do, because I think you're going to be able to get a little bit of the best of both worlds out of this motorcycle. 25 foot-pounds of torque, more than enough for what you want to do, especially on the street. It's going to be a twisty machine, and it's going to be very capable off-road. Very, very capable off-road, especially when you're comparing it to, say, KLRs um, and some of the lower horsepower dual sports that are out there. Uh, it's, I think it's going to be just fine, especially with that ground clearance of right at about, I, I forget what it is, like seven, between seven and eight inches, I think. Um, I think it's going to be, I think it's going to be good. I really do. I really think it's going to be good. 
fuel injected, cool features that are on there, lean angle, um, ABS, traction control on board. You're seeing a lot of this new lean angle ABS uh, to keep you from basically uh, dumping that bike. And, um, you know, it, 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 you're finding this on a lot of the newer bikes. God, it is windy here. <laughs> Some of the newer bikes that are out there, and they're putting it on this 390 Adventure uh, from KTM. Not only that, the suspension. I think that's one of the biggest things that I think is just fantastic about this is they've got the WP Apex. Not only do they put it on there, it's adjustable front and rear. That's a big deal, man. You know, all you guys that are out there that are adventure riders and stuff like that, put it down below in the comments and let maybe new riders or guys that are coming over from the street or something like that and uh, explain to them why the adjustable suspension is a big deal, especially if you're doing road work and really mainly off-road. Front and rear, totally adjustable. Slipper clutch, just like the old 690, ride-by-wire, perfect, nice, very sensitive whenever you're riding from that uh, throttle to the, uh, uh, to the fuel injection. It's really, really nice. I mean, uh, that ride-by-wire KTM definitely has that dialed in. It's got an oversized radiator on there, which is going to hold a little bit more coolant, which is going to be great so that bike's not going to overheat. It's going to basically it's going to do a really good job of keeping those temperatures nice and low, especially when you're out touring on that motorcycle. It's got an off-road ABS setting on there. Very nice. Uh, TFT display. It's going to be nice. It's going to be a lot like the 790. It's Big Brother, and that's really what they built this bike around. It's got the KTM My Ride, which is there basically built into the TFT or into the system. Uh, that allows you to do all those different uh, setups like your phone and all that type of stuff. Uh, it's got a steel trellis frame. Uh, I, I, I think they had to cut corners in a couple of places in order to get the price, which we're going to discuss here in a minute. If you are a, uh, a person looking or a rider looking to get one of these bikes potentially in the future, uh, they had to cut it a little bit. It's not the chrome molly like they have on the uh, KTM 690, but still, nonetheless, not bad. Not bad at all comes with basically engine guards right out of the gate, which is really nice because that way you're not going to damage any of your components if you happen to dump that thing off-road or even on the road. It's got the Brembo brakes or the MyBri, which are the Bybri, which is really cool. It's by Brembo, and uh, KTM is starting to put in those. That's how they're cutting the cost down a little bit. Um, the seat is a two-piece, which is very similar to what you're getting on the 1090s, uh, the 790s and some of the other adventure bikes that are out there, which is really pretty cool. Uh, I think the biggest feature of this bike, and, and it's not really any new news, is that this motorcycle is really set up for, guess what? And I hate to say it, you know what? Don't sit there and buy a bike because of how tall or how short you are. Buy a bike for what you want to do. Deal with that other stuff later. Here's where I'm at. But this right here, for all you short riders out there, all you girls, short guys, all that stuff, it's going to be perfect because it has a low seat height on that KTM. And especially for an adventure touring motorcycle, I think that's going to be a big hit with this bike because it's going to help sell a bunch of those because it's going to cater not only to your bigger guys, but it's also going to allow your shorter guys to get in and have a bike that's not too heavy that you can tour on, put gear, luggage, panniers, all that type of stuff, and get out and get your feet on the ground. Because for a lot of people, that's a big deal. It really, really is. The handlebars, very similar to like the it's KTM tradition. Off-road handlebars, which are nice. Nice and wide. They're great, especially when you're getting out and you're doing the off-road work. You really don't want those little banana bars. You want something that's a little wider, that's a little more upright, a little bit better, so that you can have better handling off-road. Especially for you new guys, you definitely you're going to want that because it's going to help you get that bike a lot more stable and have a lot more control off-road. Comes just like with some of the KTM foot pegs, off-road, but it has the rubber inserts. You're seeing that on a lot of the newer adventure bikes. And with that being in there, you can pull the rubber out when you're off-road, put the rubber back in, cuts down on some of that vibration that is on your feet, which comes up the body, 
which will give you fatigue, give you vibration, give you all sorts of stuff, which basically it's, 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 it sucks. But at the end of the day, you just deal with what you got to deal with. And last but not least, the price, man. The price. The price is fantastic. It's $61.99. They're going to sell a boatload of these things. That's U.S. dollars. $6,199. It is going to probably destroy anything in the lower class adventure bikes like your X300 from Versus, uh, any of those types of bikes, the little 250 Versus. I just feel sorry for them. I think they're in trouble when this bike gets released in the United States. At that price, anybody can buy one and it's going to be fantastic, and it's going to do the best of both worlds. It's not going to be that R edition that basically off-road you're going to be able to go and jump and do all those things like on your 790, but it's going to be perfect, man, for an all-around adventure traveling bike. KTM 390 Adventure, fantastic motorcycle. I'm digging it. I'm excited. What do you think down below? Hey, I'm Joe. 690 V. Thank you for stopping in. Have a fantastic weekend. It's beautiful out, man. Get out and ride your bike. Social distance on your beast, man. Thank you for being part of 690. Don't forget, hit that subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Be part of the channel. And again, thank you to all of our Patreon sponsors. And if you want to be a Patreon, thank you very, very much. Don't forget affiliate links down below for all of our gear. True tested. We don't put them down. We either own it or we don't put it down there. You guys have a fantastic weekend. I'm Joe, 690, out.